main story, we're going to be taking a deep dive into the Green New Deal. It's a deal that's so new and so green, you might confuse it with a young banana. <laughs> now, what exactly is... <laughs> What exactly is the Green New Deal? Today, it refers to a variety of policies aimed at curbing environmental catastrophe, improving the economy for the American people, and getting rid of plastic straws once and for all. Now, basically, it's an umbrella term that will encompass many laws, just like the original New Deal, which was put into action by our hottest white president, FDR. It's just a fact. He, he puts the D in FDR. Now, specific legislation isn't written yet for the Green New Deal, or as I like to call it, the GND. And it is very much still up for debate, but proponents of the deal agree that it needs to include the following major types of legislation. Removing carbon from the economy and transitioning to clean and renewable energy, public investments into green jobs and a federal jobs guarantee, protections for people and communities who are and will be affected most by climate change, and for real, getting rid of plastic straws. They gotta go, you guys. They're at least use the compostable kind where they like break down and not those paper ones. Cause you know, you get like one draw out of them and that's, the, yeah, it just turns into like pulp in your mouth. No one wants that. We just want to drink our drinks. That's the main thing of the Green New Deal is doing you guys are you following me <laughs> it's like that's where we're at so why are we talking about making these kinds of changes well in October of 2018 the intergovernmental panel on climate change or as I like to call it the IPCC issued the latest report on climate change and woo boy was that one a doozy I mean this fiery end is right around the corner we got like T minus no time left we might never know if Tom Holland spider-man comes back to life in the next Avengers movie oh wait <laughs> What just happened? Yeah, what did just happen, Peter? I thought you were dust, and now you're not. It's just fine. The trailer drops, and it's fine. The next Avengers movies hasn't even come out, and it's fine. We know what happens. Why do we even go see movies anymore? So this is the things the Green New Deal is going to be working on. You guys. <laughs> the report indicates that the disastrous effects of climate change are coming sooner than previously anticipated and predicts devastating consequences for the economy if significant measures aren't taken soon. But don't ask me. Let's talk to our senior climate change correspondent, Brittany Bookbinder. Brittany, everybody. Hey. Hi, Brittany. Hey. Um, so, Brittany, what are the main takeaways from the IPCC report? Well, Maggie, the Earth is waging a war against humanity, and we need to fight for our lives. Wait, what are you talking about? Well, haven't you heard? The Earth's brutal plan of attack, Operation Climate Change, is in full swing. That was in the report? Yeah. The IPC report shows that if the temperature rises, the environment will become more deadly. And while we used to think we were safe letting the global temperature rise by 2 degrees Celsius, it turns out that anything higher than 1.5 degrees will result in a far greater risk of droughts, flooding, extreme heat, and the extinction of coral reefs. Basically, the planet is willing to suicide bomb itself in order to take humanity down with it. No, I, I think you're kind of misunderstanding this, Brittany. The Earth doesn't want no, to kill it. us. We, we caused the increase with fossil fuels. This is no time to point fingers, Maggie. This is the time to fight. <laughs> what are you doing, Brittany? I'm fighting, Maggie. I'm fighting back. If we band together, we can do it. Oh, that's why you're dressed as Rosie the Riveter. What? No, I just like to keep my hair out of my face. Okay. <laughs> Maggie, yeah. if the Earth succeeds in raising more than 1.5 degrees, we're looking at $50 trillion in damage and poverty and rapid evacuation for hundreds of millions of people. Yeah, that would be really bad. Ah, uh, you think, Maggie? Yeah, so that's why I'm out here on the front lines punching the atmosphere into submission. And while I'm doing that, the Green New Deal can fight on the home front. Yeah, I was wondering when the Green New Deal was going to fit into all of this. Ah, uh, yeah, it fits in, Maggie. Fits in real nice. The Green New Deal is going to stone cold Steve Austin the Earth back into submission <laughs> by enacting industrial policies. The government can invest in time-tested sustainable energy, research for new sustainable sources, and green jobs. Wait, wait, hang on. You, you want the government to step in and control industry? I mean, Brittany, that's not how capitalism works, so I'm pretty sure just conservatives are not going to like if we do something like that. Oh, that's like so crazy, Maggie, because currently the U.S. spends uh, about... Uh, 20 billion dollars annually on subsidies for the fossil fuel industry. So if we invested um, that money into clean energy like wind and solar, we would actually save money. <laughs> oh my, what is that? What is that noise? Oh God, I'm so sorry. You know what, I hooked up uh, my thermometer to an air raid siren. Uh, just means the temperature went up by a percentage of a degree. Oh my God, it's horrible. Yeah, come on Maggie, will you join the fight? I don't, fight Maggie, come on, fight. Join me, Maggie, I'm come on. It. Come on, we gotta do it together. I'm not doing do that. you hear the people sing, singing a song of climate change? Maggie, punch with me! Okay. Come on, Maggie! All right, I'll punch with you. Yes, yes, you, yes, hey! Sing it with me! Oh my 
my life. You did it.